Well, St. Patrick's Day is in the books, but I bet you have this question. What do I do with all that leftover corned beef? Good question. Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council is here with some Irish recipes. Hi, Angie. Hi. Good Hello. to see you. Uh, yeah, it I smells so good in here. It does. I just made these in the oven at the office. They're nice and fresh and hot. Kind of two casseroles mm -hmm. to use with leftover corned beef. Now, if you don't have leftover corned beef, I've made both of these with deli sliced corned beef. That works just as well. That works just as well. And actually, the Reuben casserole calls for deli sliced roast beef, but I use like leftover what I cooked up on Sunday. Yeah. So, so this is uh, like a Reuben sandwich, right? Yeah, so this is uh, my Reuben sandwich, but in casserole form. <laughs> so I just put down a pound of sauerkraut, but I did take a little time and drained it in a colander and then patted mm -hmm. it dry with a paper towel. Put a little salt and pepper over that, put your corned beef in, sliced Swiss, and then th drizzled Thousand Island dressing, and then rye bread. So I just bought some rye um, in the bakery and chunked it up, and then a couple tablespoons of butter, melt that, put mm -hmm. that over the rye, 350 degree oven, 30 minutes. It's a good week for it too. Yeah, <laughs> I, right, we're back to, we need those warm comfort yeah. foods. <laughs> Yeah, so 30 minutes, and it is so delicious. It is. It tastes just like a Reuben. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Great. And then we have this beauty right here. Yes, so this takes a little bit more time. So this is pretty much just a scallop potato recipe, but with an Irish twist. Mm -hmm. So I've got a layer of corned beef in here, and then a layer of um, cabbage that I took and softened, sauteed. So it's not sauerkraut, it's the cabbage. I was Kinda, just going to ask, what do you do with the leftover cabbage? You put it so, in this yeah, one. Yeah, saute it in, I like it, in just in a skillet about 20 minutes, mm -hmm. soften up with a little butter, salt and pepper, throw in your corned beef, warm that up, and then um, I use like Yukon gold potatoes, mm -hmm. but you could use any potato, slice those up, layer them in, and then there's Swiss shredded Swiss in here. And then the sauce, the scalp potato sauce is heavy whipping cream, whole milk, um, a little mayonnaise, mm -hmm. which is a little different, a little onion powder, garlic powder, spicy brown mustard. So kind of flavors oh, like that. I'm glad but, you're serving this up. I okay, want to see what this looks yeah. like. Yeah. So, oh, that looks good. And it's kind of, it's called like a Cole Cannon casserole because Cole Cannon's very, uh, I've traditional Irish mashed potatoes with like that cooked cabbage in there. Oh, okay, this is really good. It so, looks delicious. It, it, it's delicious. It's perfect too for these warm, maybe snowy nights, oh, rainy right. nights we're right. gonna have, which is crazy, right. so. And oftentimes it's more fun to do something different with your leftovers though, than it is to have it when it's fresh. Like, it's, it, this is fun. Exactly. So like on beeftips.com, if you click on As Seen on TV, I've got these recipes, but then I'm gonna link to our corned beef recipe collection and we get we have a lot of different takes on the yeah. Reuben we get some little Reuben bites we perfect for a March Madness mm -hmm. for a game if Great idea. just yeah nice little Reuben bites of course the Reuben sandwich um all the corned beef hash oh, if you that like that nice. homemade corned beef hash it's a lot different than what you buy in the can yeah yeah, yeah. 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 all right Angie yeah. great so. to see you yeah you too Hope you guys had a great St. Patty's Day. Yeah, you too. Nice, there you go. Yeah. Beeftips.com on Wisconsin. There's the, you can find the Wisconsin Beef Council on Facebook and Instagram.